primary reason why people top it, when they set up to the golf ball, they set up so that the left arm and their shaft form a lever of this length. And when they return the club to the ball, their left arm will primarily pull up. And so they're actually shortening the lever, exposing the top of the golf ball to the club, and then you'll end up topping the ball. And make sure that at impact, your left arm and shaft are straight there and on your follow through to make sure that you're extending your arms through the hitting zone instead of what I primarily see is people pulling their arms in at impact. A lot of times people are even fearful of hitting the ground and that's going to expose the top of the ball almost all the time because you're going to pull your arms away from the ground what you're hitting. So you want to make sure that when you practice, you practice extending your arms through that hitting zone so your left arm and shaft get straight through there. Another thing that you want to check before you hit the ball, you want to make sure that you're in good posture and have a good distance from the ball or the proper distance from the ball. So some of the other reasons why people would top the ball is because they end up getting too far from the ball. There's a lot of distance here and it'll actually flatten out your arc and you will top it. So you want to check your distance from the ball. So what I do is I get in the proper posture where my head and my tailbone are connected making a straight line. That's good posture. Sometimes people will top the ball because they'll round, they'll round their back versus straightening their back. So you want to have a straight back for a postured position and then once you're in that just dangle your arm from your shoulder and that's your distance from the ball. If you get too far from the ball, you can top the ball as well. So you want to make sure your distance from the ball and your posture are correct. And then when you're swinging, we start out with the club this long. We want to return the club to that length versus pulling your arms in. One reason that people top the ball as well is because when they swing through, their shoulders are supposed to stay on this tilted angle, okay? And when you swing through, a lot of times people will come out of their seat and end up pulling their shoulder up. That does sometimes happen, but the primary reason that I find it's when people pull up. So you want to make sure that you're doing rotational drills where you can check the angle of your shoulders. You want to make sure that the back swing angle and your forward swing angle are on the same plane versus backswing being on this plane and your forward swing being on this plane. You can see in that position that my head is very stable and then you will see my head come up but it's primarily because my shoulder position doesn't stay in its tilted posture. Another drill that you can do is just hit golf balls where there's a T positioned right behind the ball, right at the base of the bottom of the ball. So this T position drill actually helps you focus on a lower point on the ground where you would want to try to get the club to strike. Just set tees and then when you return the club to the ball, that's your primary. It helps you drop the club a little lower on the ball so you actually get the bottom of the ball which helps drive the ball up in the air.